sound of music is coming down. They are saying that we can mix glycerin together with the metal and come up with your own hand sanitizer. Methylated spirit is a, is a good sanitizer. We use it even in hospitals. On its own, the glycerin is just there to lubricate and, and, you know, when you use methylated spirits alone, your hands look dry and whitish after, after, after use. Uh, glycerin is simply like a, an emollient, something to lubricate. So that is true. And there's also a question. I've read that there are only 14 people, probably the, the number is increasing now, of people that have been tested for COVID. Can you say we are safe in Zimbabwe when we've not tested everyone? Can you say we only have one case so far? How are we coming to a figure when we've not tested everyone? So far in Zimbabwe, the official government statement is that we don't have a single case of positive COVID-19. And that's extremely worrisome because we are not testing people. You need to test hundreds and thousands of people to pick up a few cases. And we are letting people go, suspects go, uh, before we even test them. The, a, good, a good point, uh, a good case in point is the Victoria Falls British woman who came and wanted to be tested in Victoria Falls because she had symptoms. And she had the history of coming from a country that had recorded COVID-19. But uh, they said, no, you don't meet the criteria for testing. Oh, that was hogwash. Why? Because once somebody is full like symptoms and is coming from a country that has recorded cases, you must test. But I suspect they didn't have test kits in Big Falls. That's my suspicion. And that's why they didn't test. Then she went back to the UK, she was tested. And she, tested, she tested positive. So Very is, unfortunate. It also means that people were in contact with her also probably because of the positive. The government is now saying we're going to do contact tracing, we're going to look for everybody she ever got into contact with and test them. It's now more expensive. It's a lot cheaper to test one suspect than to do contact tracing. They should have tested that woman and prevented her from gallivanting throughout Victoria Falls, throughout our national parks. So, uh, but no, they.